I let YouTube stress me out. Not making the videos or nothing, but I saw some videos about this CP4 on the 2019 and 2020s, because 2021 apparently they went back to the CP3, which I wasn't really aware of it. Like as much as like, you know, somebody had asked me about it and they were like, well, what you gonna do about the um, CP4 or whatever? I'm like, what you talking about? So I get on there and I'm starting to hear all these horror stories I'm watching. I'm Googling stuff and it's like, man, the CP4 is no good on the rim and it's exploding. Uh, guys talking about 10 to $28,000 repair. So I'm like, what? I'm talking about, man, I didn't sleep all night because of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, did I buy the wrong truck? Like, so, so yeah, man. So I was on there and I'm talking about guys talking about, man, when the, uh, when it, when it fails, it is not like you just like a replacement thing. You have to, it, it sends the metal all through your whole fuel system all the way down to the ejectors and all. And in one case I saw a guy on YouTube, man, and he actually got a whole new engine, man. So under warranty in most cases, but in some cases, um, people had to repair it themselves depending on how far they were outside their warranty or whatever. And there's actually a, a class action lawsuit against it right now, but I don't think it's getting anywhere. I, I heard one time that the uh, lawsuit was closed, so However, they did say this. The guy said that if your vehicle was built after September 1st, you have the upgraded CP4 and you should not have the problem. However, you stay, still may have it. So that night, I, I mean, it was like three in the morning, man. I was up like, oh man, I watched like 30 videos, read like 50 posts, man. And um, I couldn't help it. So I jumped up, came outside, opened my door check to see my build date and i was like well i bought my truck september 31st there's no way they built it after september 1st shipped it to a dealership it didn't sit there at all and then i came and bought it that's not realistic so i got up and checked mine was built in july and then they also said on that new pump that it'll be a little dimple at the top part of the cp4 and if you have that you have the upgraded one all right so this is that that cp4 pump that i was talking about and if you can look what they're saying is that um, on the top line at the front, at the top, and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But if you notice, I got I have one dimple right there, and if you have that one dimple right there, they're saying not those smaller ones. As a matter, of, so what I'm getting is the smaller ones are just to uh, to demonstrate. Um, what line or batch order or whatever. So some people like if you have a 19 or a 20 and up here with this what his first uh dimple is, then that means more than likely you have the first uh generation of that uh that Bosch CP4 before they did the uh update on it. Now, I'm not sure this is just what I've been reading on forums and reading online and, and that's what I've been getting, but so far so what I'm thinking is I may have the updated one like I said I'm not that doesn't mean I'm all the way um, out of the woods, but supposedly that one's supposed to be uh, better. Also, some they were saying something about those green marks on every one of the hoses, I meaning it's been checked or something like that. Or that's another way to verify or something like that. But don't don't quote me on that, man. I'm just doing a little bit of homework myself because, like I said, this was something I was. It had me up, man, staying up at night, and I was kind of worried about it. But if you do have the uh, the one with, without that one large dimple, I'm gonna zoom in again. Without that one large dimple, that means you have the first, uh, the first um, CP4, not the updated one. I thought when I first came out here that night, I didn't notice the large one at, at first. I just saw the ones below it, the smaller ones. So I was like, damn, I didn't get that, but I do. So when what I've been getting, like I said, they were saying that if your vehicle was built after september 1st that you would have the updated pump with the one large dimple at the top my vehicle my truck was built july 2020 and it still appears i have the large dimple like i said i was going to take it to the dealer just to verify to see which one i have and to see how big of a concern it, it is and see how worried i should be this right here is the cp4 pump i have the large dimple at the top so if your vehicle was built before september it still is possible that you have the updated pump not sure how well the updated pump actually is so i'm not gonna say well you have the updated pump don't worry at all or you absolutely won't have an issue because i cannot 
I can't guarantee you that. I'm not, I don't even feel that way, even though I feel like I have it. But like I said, I'm going to take mine in just to check it out, just to make sure. Um, I haven't been able to drive this truck much, like I said, because I'm gone most of the time. But when I'm home, I do try to drive it as much as I can. So from September when I bought it to now, this is February, I got 3,000 and I think 52 miles on it. Um, but I, like I said, I drive as much as I can. Just wanted to let y'all see what it looked like. Let's just see what the one dimple looked like. Um, some of y'all might have the the older one. You know what I'm saying? You can post in the comments all the info you have about it. I'm just trying to share this because I'm learning it and I want to help anybody else who might be having concerns or might have um, a 19 or a 2020. From from what I'm getting, the 21s has, they have gone back to the uh, CP3. So they probably are not in the same boat as us. But any of you guys might have a 19 or a 20, 20. Um, and you want to share, man, hit the comments so we all can, you know, be on the same page, help each other out as much as possible, man. You know, that's what this channel is all about. So here's it. I may have that one because I do have the large dimple, dimple at the top of mine. I'm not sure I'm going to take it into the deal and get it checked. But either way it goes, all I'm hoping is this thing does not fail. Now, they do have a conversion kit that you can do and put the CP3 back on there. But, of course, that's going to void your warranty. And I bought the extended warranty with mine as well. So I definitely won't be doing that at this time. All I can do is hope and pray. And if that starts to be an issue or I feel like that's going to be an issue, the only thing I can do is, man, is get this thing out of here. You know what I mean? So, and I was like, damn, I mean, everything went through my head last night. I was like, damn, I should have got that Ford. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, even though the Ford has a CP4 too, I think they, but I don't see as many people seem to have that problem with the Ford. Also, I think they might have switched. Um, I'm not even sure. It seems like all of them GM for and then Ram just went to it with these uh, fifth gen. So um, I don't know. I don't know why the hell they did that. They should have stayed with what worked, but you know how it goes. So if any of y'all having problems like that, y'all let me know in the comments, man. If you have anything that you think you can do to prevent it. I saw some things. I saw dudes say things even as far as don't even let the fuel get uh, too low or add additives all the time. So let me know what y'all think. Hold on. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about it, man. Let me know if y'all think it's going to be an issue or not. Should it, should it be a concern? Should it be something I should be worried about? Should I be paranoid or should I just drive and enjoy my truck like I've been doing? And anyway, again, thanks for watching. Everybody, be careful, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.